Are you ready? Well, I think so. Huh? This is crazy. Today, I'm going to see a six million dollar comic book. Absolutely mind-blowing. The reason why I know about this comic book now is because I saw a video with more than 50 million views. This comic book went completely viral after Andrew Tate went to this comic book store and they made a video about that. So today, I'm gonna go visit the same store which is owned by my very good friend Rashid actually. So let's go check it out right now. This comic store has hot dogs. It's nice. Very nice. Let's go. Hey, bro! Oh, Kurt, what are you yeah. doing here, man? How are you? How are you doing? Nice to see you. What's up? Everything Where have you been? Good. I've been everywhere, bro. How is your... Uh, the racing and stuff going on? Racing is going very well. Yeah? Ralph Boschung is number one in the championship right now. Mabrook, Mabrook, that's yeah. good news, bro. I want to see your famous uh, six million dollar uh, comic book. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just that. Okay, not a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah, maybe some other stuff if you have other cool stuff. Of course we do. I was just going through um, a lot of Pokemon cards and stuff. There's oh, some wow. new stuff that just came in. Obviously, you know, we sold our, uh, our Illustrator recently. The same one like uh, uh, Logan Paul has, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But these are some new ones. Okay, so how much is a uh, entry level this one? Uh, this will be $300. It's not much. Okay, yeah. It's, it's not much, you know. These, these are not much, but they still hold their value. How much is this uh, Jirachi? About $200. Mm -hmm. and, and the grades make a big difference, obviously. Yeah. That's a nine. Yeah, that's what I've learned as well when yeah. I watched Logan Paul's videos about this. Like, this is a 10, you know? That's mm. gem mint. The best quality you could get. 10 on centering, 10 on surface, exactly. 10 on corners, 10 on edges. So what's the most expensive Pokemon card you have? Well, it's sold. People come and buy like... There's no tomorrow. Yeah. You know? So wait, you sold your Charles card? Uh, no, it was an Illustrator uh, uh, Illustrator card. $700,000. Yeah. And that's My the same partner. that the Logan Paul has. He has the same one. He has a 10. Yeah. The one we had was a 9.5. Okay. And he, he usually has it around his neck, right? Around his neck when he goes to for the matches and fighting and stuff, yeah, you know? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But we have something much more expensive than that in the vault. I know. You know? That's what I want to see. It's 100%. so famous now, I think it got like 50 million views. Yeah, that was when our good friend, you know, came Andy, here. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah. I think he'll be out soon. Please, uh, one cappuccino for, for Carl. Thank you, that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you a quick, quick tour from here. Okay. And then we will go. This is very rare. This is all our own stuff. Oh. Okay, so we created uh, our own character. So that's a real rooster that we own. Mm. And we created a comic book out of it and called it Deco. We have a lot of signed Funko Pops here. A lot of kids like to buy Funko Pops. We have big anime mm -hmm. genre. Yeah. This is Venom, obviously. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very, very uh, done really well. Yeah, crazy. This is obviously, have you seen Tony Stark's heart in the movie? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what, Carl, I'll give you this. You can put it in your office and put it on and it lights up. Yeah? Yeah, it's nice. This is signed by the creator of War Machine. Here. This is signed by Neil Adams, by the way. He's one of the big Batman uh, artists. Mm. If you take yeah. all of these, like yeah. everything, yeah. it doesn't add up to just one yeah. of the, the, the crazy one in the vault. Well, there's a lot of crazy ones in the vault. Oh, really? Which one are you talking about? Well, the, the $6 million one. Well, that's the Superman one. Yeah, but there yeah, are yeah. other books that give it a run for its money. Inside. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so how much money do you think you have in there? Oh, the, the vault is worth... Uh, I just insured it for $33 million. $33 million worth of yeah. comics. Comics and other goods inside. It's crazy. Are you ready? Well, I think so. Huh? Okay. Let's do it. This is crazy. Come please. I'm used to expensive things, but this <laughs> for sure I'm not used to. So this is Superman number one. This is the one Andrew saw. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a recent copy of Superman number one sold for about 5.6 million dollars. Wow. And this is history, by the way. It's 1939. Wow. It's older than my grandfather. This is my Superman collection. So all of these books are minimum starting $5,000, $10,000, and you name it. Like, for example, I have this book signed by Michael Keaton. If you gave me $100,000, I'm not going to sell it mm. because of the grade. Yeah. That's esteemed grade. Yeah. Now I have another book here, which is this one. Signed by the creator of Captain America. You give me a million, I'm not going to sell this book. Yeah. It's not about the money. It's about getting it again. But it's only a two. 
Yeah, but exactly. It doesn't matter. It's signed by the creator. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So some of these are low grade, but, uh, yeah, but, but they're, they're rare. They're very rare. Like this is signed by King Kirby, Jack Kirby. Who's that? Jack Kirby is the guy who created uh, Spider-Man, created uh, Avengers, created yeah. with Stan Lee. You have to speak to me as I'm five years old because okay. I, I know crypto, yeah. but I do not know comics. So this is a 9.8, Captain America punching Hitler in German. <laughs> a guy offered me a million dollars for this, by the way. Really? They changed, had to bro. change it, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a uh, window. Only. Yeah, yeah. Dem Schämpfe für die Freiheit. Dem Kämpfer für die Freiheit. What does it say here? Experience Captain America's uh, fight against the Nazis. Can you say it in German? Er lebt Captain America's heldenhaften Kampf gegen die Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> now these books here, this is a Superman number seven. Mm. You see, it's only a point five. Actually, it's very bad quality, very yeah. bad. Yeah. But it's worth how much you think? Uh, Hundred thousand dollars? No. It's not that much. It's about twenty thousand dollars. Still, a little. what is in here? Ah, that's Superman. Death of Superman, signed by the creator of Superman. So, Death of Superman. What does that mean? Like, is the, the the comic book where he died in? Oh, and then he's over. No, he came back to life, obviously. But they <laughs> killed him. That book. So, how much is this one worth? This is about ten thousand dollars. Yeah, I have two of these. The Death of so dramatic uh, cover. Yeah. This one uh, has Carrie Fisher mm -hmm. and David Prowse. Carrie Fisher, you know, was Princess Leia, she already died. Mm -hmm. And a guy came in, he's like, Rashid, I want to buy this book. How much? At that time, you know, about three years ago, it was 50,000 dirhams. I'm like, I do really want it. He's like, yeah, I'm like, there's only 9.8 available. He's like, Rashid, you know, I'm going to think about it. I'm like, dude, let me give you brotherly advice. Carrie's already dead, is dead. David Prowse might die any day. He's like, I'll think about it. Leaves, three days later, David Prowse dies. Comes back, Rashid, can I buy the book? I'm like, yeah, but now it's worth 150,000. You know, mm. I was begging people to buy this book. I had five copies signed by um, their actor for Dark Side mm. and the director. And he never signs. So I told one of my friends, I'm like, dude, buy it. How much? I'm like, it cost me a thousand dirhams. Take it. Take it for the same price. But pay for the, you know, for this, let it go and come back. You know how much this book is worth today? No. There are only five in the world. And for some reason, alhamdulillah, I got them all back as a 9.8 after grading. Twenty thousand dollars. I sold one. Crazy. Yeah, less from, than four from, months. From what year? It's brand new, but this signature, he doesn't sign. Mm. The director Zack Snyder doesn't sign. And so every time I send a book like this, yeah. I give uh, ten percent of it. That's my promise to him yeah. to charity. You know. By the way, what, what does um, Darth Vader say to uh, to to Luke? I'm your father. What's the full line? Um. I don't remember. Do you? So it's so funny because m most people remember how he says, Luke, yeah. I am your, your father. father. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But if you look at the, the video now, the yeah. film, he says, No, I am your father. No, I am your father. Mandela effect, you mean? Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, no, it's Luke, I am your father. It's supposed to be. That's how I remember Luke, it. Luke, I am your father. Yeah. Even the, the actor himself yeah. in interviews, yeah. he um, quotes himself saying, uh, Luke, Luke, I am, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. So these are worth something. Oh, these are worth a lot of money. Yeah, but they look like they're new, right? They're new, but it's signed by the actor, the writer, and the creator. Okay, then. Only 9.8. There were two. I actually bought two. One for Ahmed bin Salayim mm. of the MCC and one for myself. But do you know something there, there's only one of? This. You, not everybody can be Carl Moon, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of one. I have this. This is a one of one. Yeah. No one ever has this in their, in their life. It was made and done especially for me. Mm. By Bob Layton, who co-created Iron Man. And it's signed by Brandon Routh, the Superman actor. It's uh, signed by Sam De La Rosa, who did Venom. Mm. And signed by Warren Love. This is your personal collection? A lot of stuff is for sale, but some things are not for sale. Mm. Like you have to arm twist me. Like mm. I'll sell that, but I won't sell this. Mm. The Captain America, because it's very hard to get it back. Mm. You know what I mean? I will not sell this. It's impossible to get a 9.8 Michael Keaton. It's impossible. On this side of the place, I have... Like, let me show you. This is one page from Captain America number three. This by itself is worth $10,000. Wow. One page. Why? 
Because it's a page from Captain America number three. Number three meaning the third that the ever came out. Third ever uh, comic book. So this is the worst grading possible. No. <laughs> worst grading possible is 0 0.1. We saw it there. 0 0.1. Can I yeah. see a 0 0.1? Yeah, it's there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst grading possible. I want to see the worst possible. Do we have a point 0.1? I've seen a point 0.1 somewhere. Here. Oh, there you go. <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, wow. It's a Batman point 0.1. Yeah, but that's worth ten thousand dollars. Can we really? see the condition? Yeah, it's very bad condition. So this is worth ten thousand dollars. Easy. That's crazy. Here we have all the signed stuff by the celebrities. This is very special. This is signed by Robert Downey Jr., the actor. And look at what Bob Layton did for me. He drew on it. That's cool. this is. I have five of these, bro. And uh, one of the sheikhs uh, made me s sell him one for 27,000 dirhams. Okay. All these are signed by Stanley. This is signed by Captain. This is Christen. Stanley. Stanley signed by Stanley, yeah. <laughs> That's before he died. Yeah. That's worth about 10,000 dirhams. I can imagine, yeah. And that is original art by Bob Layton. The original one of that sold for $1 million up there on the left. Nice. But uh, Bob is such a piece of shit, he's like, you can't sell it until I don't die. So he made me this, but yeah, I can't sell it. Until he dies? Yeah, he said, until I die, don't sell it. This is every Batman actor who ever played. Signed. Took me 10 years to collect. Mm. I think this is the, the craziest of them all, right? Of course. Can this we take it out and take a look at it? We can. And, and if, I, if I send you $6 million worth of Bitcoin, you would sell it now? Yeah. Yeah. I would. This is the original prop from Star Wars, the movie. So then you can hold it and say, I'm your father, you know? I am your father. <laughs> that is cool. So from the movie. Yeah. That's I bought cool. this at that time for about $5,000. I don't know what it's worth now. Mm. And you don't take it out often, do you? No, we don't. Luke. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 5.3 million. You can actually get uh, two or three Bugattis. Uh, Carl, grab it. That is incredible. It's, it's so crazy. How can something made of paper be five million? But it's all because about rarity. A history. History. See, it says here. It's from 1939. Mm. This is the first Superman number one. So that book is more worth more than this. But this is not the most expensive book I have, by the way. No, really? Yeah, I have another one at home. Yeah. Which is signed. It's an Action Comics 44. Signed by both the creators of Superman, only one in the world. How much? I don't know what that's worth. It's more than this for sure. Oh, wow. oh this is now a car from the moon has been drinking from it. <laughs> okay, so we worth, keep it there. Um, 3,000 dirhams. Okay, no problem. We keep it here. Can you sign it? <laughs> yeah, you sign it and keep it here, Carl. Can you grade it? <laughs> uh, we could grade that, yeah. We could. If you, if you would put, uh, yeah. come bring this out. In a vacuum, you know? Yeah. Carl, this is a present from me to you. Oh, really? Yeah. So you can put it in your office, okay? Really? Yes. Well, nice, nice, bro. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put it uh, behind me when I make my videos. 100%. Yeah. It, it means a lot. Nice, bro. You're welcome. Thank you, man. Thank you. That's cool. This is uh, from 1942. Wow, that's amazing. And so look at what it was worth at that time. Only 10 cents. 10 cents, yeah. So this is for sale. So this is... Christopher Lloyd, the, the scientist, no? The scientist? Yeah, in uh, Back to the Future, the old man. Ah. So it's, it's uh, the shoe from the movie? Yeah, this is apparently from the movie. So in Back to the Future, the, the old scientist guy was walking around. I think, yeah, this is what it is. <laughs> this is the shoe which Michael J. Fox was wearing. So how much is this worth? I saw some stuff on the internet. Some stuff was $600,000, $700,000. $600,000? Yeah. For a pair of shoes. Yeah. Not worth it. Are they used or no? <laughs> Maybe they are. All right, man. Thank you, bro. Gifts. And a very, very expensive comic book as a gift. That's that is, insane. That is insane, actually. Okay, let's go back to the office, I guess. Thank you. That was fun. Nice guy, Rashid. Very nice guy. Let's see if we can get uh, 50 million views, just like Andrew Tate. On the reel we just uh, produced. Exactly, that one we're gonna publish and, uh, 
and get crazy views. You said you have a Bugatti, right? Yes, yes, yes. Come, come, let me show you something. Come. Yeah? Yeah, come. You have a Bugatti here? Yeah, I do. That's my Bugatti. Oh, wow. A copy of Superman number one recently sold for $5.3 million. So this is more than $5 million? Yes, it is. But can you can you take it for a spin and go for a coffee? I can give it to you, and then you can give me the Bugatti, and I can take it for a spin and put it in the passenger seat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best car in the world for going on the track. And let's actually listen to the... comic book in my office. I, I love to collect cool stuff that I uh, get as gifts from friends or awards, or awards for different uh, accomplishments. I put them in my office, so let's go do that right now. Nice. Thank you. My favorite place in Dubai, my office. Hi. Good morning. Good? Everything good with you? Nice, very good, very good. Nice. Welcome to my office. This is going to go up on the wall. So let's take off this. Are you supposed to do that or did it just lose 20,000 euros in worth? <laughs> no, I think... I think <laughs> Are you uh, sure? <laughs> I think it's still worth uh, 20,000 dollars, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, I don't know. Like, uh, I could put it uh, here. Honestly, I think it deserves a spot a little bit higher. That's cool. This is for winning the Grand Prix last year? No, this is for, <laughs> for being a crypto entrepreneur, building business in the space. Got me this. And this was a gift from a fan, me on the cover of Entrepreneur, which is pretty decent. The YouTube play buttons, very important, means a lot because of you guys. And by the way, guys, look here. Click this video right now. This video will blow your mind. Click it. See you over there. Bye-bye.